Hello and welcome to Gradient Tutorials, your resource for quick videos to learn how to use paper space. In part one of this two-part series, we saw how to create a Gradient Notebooks instance using one of the provided runtimes, FastAI. In part two, now that we've seen how to set up a basic notebook using one of our recommended runtimes, let's try a more advanced notebook configuration. For this example, we will use Clip plus Pixel Draw to generate a unique piece of pixel art based on an inputted text string prompt. Before starting, make sure you turn off any running notebook instance that you use for part one of this video, as free tier users can only have a single notebook running at any given time. If you have upgraded your Gradient account, you can ignore this step. Since we now have some content in this project space, let's take this chance to appropriately rename the project as Fest AI plus Clip plus Pixel Draw. All you need to do is hit enter to save. This way, we'll know what content is being stored in this project space. Once you finish renaming your project, hit the Create Notebook button to go into the Create Notebook space. Because we're not going to be using one of the available runtimes provided by Gradient, let's instead talk about what a runtime actually is. In Gradient, a runtime is a specific combination of a workspace, which contains files pulled from a Git repository, and a container which is pulled from a container registry via something like Docker Hub. To visualize this, select the Transformers plus NLP tile provided by Hugging Face and scroll down to our advanced options. As you can see, the workspace URL and the container name have been filled in. The workspace URL is the URL of a GitHub repository that we wish our Gradient instance to have cloned as our workspace upon startup. The files from the GitHub repo will then be made available to us in our instance. The container name is the location of an image on Docker Hub that we would like to load as the container for our instance on Gradient, and it contains pre-installed libraries that we would like to use for whatever process we're doing. There is also the command field. Here we can input bash commands that we want to pass to the Jupyter kernel when we instantiate it. Thus, in practice, a runtime is a combination of a workspace URL and a container name that results in files from that repo running on a desired container containing whatever libraries and packages we need to run. The process is within, all on our Gradient GPU instance. So now that you understand how runtimes allow us to customize our instance, let's actually build a custom one for our needs. As stated before at the beginning of this video, we will be using OpenAI's Clip and the PixRay project's PixelDraw to generate novel pixel art within Gradient from an inputted text prompt. To create the notebook for this task, let's first select a free GPU, though you can use any kind of GPU for this. If you like, this will run on a free GPU instance, and then toggle the advanced options again. Go ahead and put in the workspace URL, github.com slash gradient hyphen AI slash clip it hyphen pixel draw dot git. And for our container name, we're going to use paper space slash clip hyphen pixel draw colon Jupyter. And that's all there is to it. Now we have the appropriate workspace files in the appropriate container for our gradient instance. So go ahead and hit start notebook. Once your notebook is running, you can click on this top tab to change your notebook to a more appropriate name. Let's call it Clip It Pixel Draw. Once you've renamed it, you can navigate into the Pixel Draw IPython notebook and go to the very first code cell. This cell contains three repos that we need to clone in order to run all of the different processes correctly. So go ahead and run that cell to clone them. Now that our setup is complete, let's actually go change the prompt that will be input to the model. You can do this by using the file manager to navigate to pixeldraw.py. From there, scroll down to line 15, prompts. It is set by default to say paperspace.com helps you do machine learning, but we can use this moment to make it something more interesting. You can use any input string you want, as Clip is extremely robust at understanding the content of any input string, but let's be a little more creative with it. I'm going to replace my prompt instead with a quote from the epic sci-fi Dune. On the desert planet of Arrakis, the spice must flow. Now that you've set the input prompt, let's navigate back to the pixel draw notebook and scroll down to the cell right after the markdown that has this line, python pixeldraw.py. Running this cell will execute our modified version of the pixeldraw.py script and display the output in new image. 
So let's run the cell. Keep in mind that depending on what GPU you're using, this process may take a while. So we'll check back in when it's finished running. Once your run is complete, you should be greeted by your completely new, unique piece of pixel art. We can look at it more closely by going to the output.png and zooming in. As you can see here, we've managed to capture the deserty uh, vibes of the Arrakis input, and I'm going to go ahead and guess that this central piece is supposed to represent spice, and this could be Paul Trady, for all we know. Cool piece of art, nonetheless. What's important is that it was able to take our input and clearly influence the output to direct the quality and make of our art. Now that we've completed our first run of art generation, you can go back into the pixeldraw.py script and change the prompt to be whatever you want and generate your own unique piece of art. With that, we wrap up part two of our tutorial. You should now know how to create a customized notebook instance and use it in this case, to generate some really neat art.